Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. All right, guys. I'm going to make this short and sweet, but super powerful. So jump on in here. I'm going to share this over in the Mind Power Collective group, of course. And then we're going to dive right in. And I'll be honest, I didn't plan on going live at this moment. I planned on going live at some point today. Um, but I'm post workout and, you know, had planned on putting myself together a little bit more, but here we are. So if you're here, say hello. Um, I am going to share with you a little pep talk, something that I was massively inspired to share through a client contact. And I want to talk a little bit about that. And I actually sat down to write it out as a post and was like, no, I just need to talk about it because this is how I communicate. So um, hang on just a second. Um, so yeah, so one of the things that, um, you may not know is that when you work with me, um, one-on-one, -on -one, when you work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I offer a video messaging opportunity. So basically you have me in your back pocket as your coach. You get to reach out to me 24 hours a day, seven days a week, share insights, share questions. You're having a breakdown moment. You're having a challenge and you need to reach out. And that is a really uh, powerful and valuable piece of the coaching process. And so this morning I was checking messages and I got a message from a client who was sort of giving me an SOS, like I need some support. And I jumped in, did recorded a couple videos for her. And as I was thinking about it afterwards, right, as I was thinking about the message afterwards, I realized that what she is dealing with is something that so many people deal with when it comes to mindset work or when it comes to shifting and changing their lives. And it's the reason that I am so open and honest in my own life and in my own, like if you're on my email list, you know, I will share my challenges. I am completely an open book. I have no problem telling you that I had a struggle like last week, that September was a challenge. And I have no problem telling you sort of the ins and outs and what I was thinking and what I was feeling and when I was doubting and how I overcame it. And the reason I do that and the reason that's so important for you to hear is because we're human. Yes, I've been doing this work. Yes, I teach this work. But I still have those up-leveling moments. I still have those challenges that I'm working through. They are not the same challenges that I worked through in the beginning. They are not the same things over and over and over again. It's a new level. It's a new up-leveling that I'm going through. And so I share that with you because when you find yourself in these moments where you feel like it's not working, where you feel like the same thing keeps coming up over and over and over again, and you forget the progress that you've made, that you forget what you knew yesterday, that you forget those moments where you felt empowered, where the mindset stuff was working, where you were getting messages from the universe and this, that, and the other was working. When you forget those things, I want you to know that it's normal. And more importantly, I want you to know how to get out of it. I want you to remember these things that I'm going to be sharing with you. Okay. So this is a bit of a pep talk. And if you missed earlier, yeah, I'm post-workout. I hopped on. That's what we get. <laughs> Done is better than perfect. So we are human beings and this life, this mindset work, this life experience that we're creating is an experience that we're building and crafting and creating over time. If we stop expanding, if we stop reaching for something else, if we stop finding something to get excited about, then there is no life. You know what I mean? Like that is not the life. We are here to grow, evolve, and become. That is what we are here to do. So the fact that you have new levels, the fact that you're still challenged, the fact that there are moments where you're like, what am I doing? And I can't, I don't know how to do this. And I'm afraid to do this. And I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can be successful. That is because you're reaching for something else. That's because you are leaning into a new place. The problem comes when you stop, when you give up, when you decide that this is all there is, there's no opportunity to change. This is it. I might as well make the best of where I am and just stay. And again, that's not who you are. That's not why you're here. So when you find yourself struggling and you find yourself questioning, like, I can't do that. I want that. I can't have that. I want to do that, but I don't know how to do that. And you feel like you're stuck, as my mom used to say, between a rock and a hard place, right? We all know that feeling. 
Hey, Lisa, thanks for joining. Um, when you feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, it can be so easy to forget who you are. It can be so easy to forget who you are. And so let me remind you, let this be a reminder of who you are. You are an incredible human being with an incredible power to create whatever it is you want to do. You may not have been taught that you could do that. You may not have been informed how to do that. You may not even know where to begin. But the fact that you're watching this, whether now or on the replay, says that you are that. And whether you're not watching it, if you share this with someone, we are all here to create a life that we love. We are. You get that opportunity. The challenge comes when we have all that mind chatter because most of us were not taught how to do this. Most of us were not taught from a young age to believe in ourselves, to think the good thoughts, to be powerful, to you know, um, know what thoughts to think in order to get us to the next level. Most of us are not taught that. We were told, put your mind to it, work hard, and you'll get there. But what about what we think and believe? Most of us were not taught this stuff, right? So you may not have been taught that, and you may have been taught some things that were true for your parents, which are that, you know, money is hard to make. And unless you work multiple jobs, it's never going to happen. And only lucky people get to be rich or, um, you know, you have to live in these particular places in order to succeed. All of that is nonsense. And it's only true if you believe it. So let's just be real. Okay. So when you feel like it's not working and you feel like this thing isn't panning out the way that you want it to and you're, you feel stuck be between a rock and a hard place and you feel like you have no choices, I want to remind you that you do. And your choice, the freedom to choose, begins with the freedom to choose what to think, the freedom to choose what to believe, the freedom to choose how to adjust your focus. Because where you adjust your focus matters. Where you adjust your focus, what you focus on, what you believe in, how you think about life, how you engage with life becomes your reality. It becomes what you create. So when we feel like it's not working, it may simply be that you're not there yet. You have to remember that most of us are overcoming, are clearing, are working through beliefs that have been with us for 20, 30, 50 years, right? And it's not going to take us 20, 30, 50 years to get to the other side, but it does take some time. It takes consistency. It takes choice. It takes commitment. And sometimes it takes a, a coach or someone in your back pocket to remind you who you are. So let me get back to who you are. You are a person with massive abilities. You are a person who gets to be, have, and do whatever he or she, she chooses, right? You get to do that. And I know for some people, it's like, oh, that's just lip service. That's woo woo. That's all this nonsense out there. But look at the world. Yeah, look at the world. The world needs us to step up. The world needs us to believe. The world needs us to step up and do the thing that we came to do so that we can change all of this, so that we can make it into the better place that we were meant to make it to be, right? So you get to choose. And when you're in that place where you're looking at this thing that you want and can't have or feel you can't have, and you're looking at this other place that you don't want to be, and those are the only two options for you, believe that those are the only two options when you think that they are. But the truth is, behind those two options that you're blinded by because you can't see beyond those two things are an infinite number of ways that you could live your life that you could get to where you want to be, that you could have the house, you could lose the weight, you could um, have the partner, you could have the money, you could have the business, the success, the book, the whatever. You could have all of that. You don't have to pick and choose, but you do have to shift your thinking consistently. You can't think it once and think it's going to happen. You don't go to the gym and lift a couple weights once and think it's going to happen. It's a commitment. It's a consistency. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is a commitment and a consistency that most people are not willing to make. This is a choice. This is a practice that most people are not willing to make. And the reason is because the reality of what is, what we see in our bank account, what we see in the world, what we see in the news, what we see in our partners is so big and so real and so visceral that we forget who we are. 
that we forget that we have an opportunity, that we forget that we get to choose what to think and believe. And I will be the first to tell you that I forget. (laughs) My wife will tell you that I forget. I forget from time to time. But then I remember this little voice in the back of my mind because I've been doing this for so long will creep up and say, remember who you are, what you see right now. And I want you to think about this, what you see in your bank account, in your relationship, the weight on the scale, the money in the bank, the job that you have, the people that are around you. That is just a snapshot. It's like a Polaroid of what is for this moment. It's a representation of your choices, your actions, your thoughts, your beliefs up to now. But what's going to happen in five years when you take a snapshot of your life? What does that look like? Is it going to be the same picture? It's up to you to choose. So remember who you are. When you're in the the throes of this isn't working and I see all the things that are going wrong and I'm really frustrated and you're in the emotion place, That's when you really have to work through. You have to work through the emotion place. You have to process. You have to release. You have to go through and feel the feels, go through a process that I teach my clients to release that so that you can then layer in the new beliefs. And again, I am a perfect, like I'm, you know, the perfect example of this because when I am in my emotions in that place, you can't tell me anything. <laughs> you could tell me to be happy and, and think happy thoughts all day long, but it's not going to touch. It's not going to hit me. So if that's what you're trying to do in those moments where it feels crunchy and hard and frustrating, it's not going to work. You have to learn to process. So you process through and you come out on the other side and you feel better. And then you get back on track with your beliefs. And then maybe you're triggered and you process through and you get on the other side. That processing through is what I call mindset and emotional triage. It's dealing with those triggers. And most people in the world do not process that. Most people ignore it, avoid it, numb it, resist it, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And their life doesn't change. So if you are here, if you are a part of my page, if you are one of my followers, if you are someone on YouTube, if you are whomever in my community, if you are seeing this, I'm speaking to you. And if you think that this is something that would be beneficial to, to someone that you know, feel free to share it with them, tag them in the comments, whatever you need to do, because this is true for all. You get to create what you desire. That's just what it is. You get to do that, right? You, I shared this with a client that blew her mind in one of our first conversations, that you get to want what you want and you get to have it too. And the way you do that is by making the commitment in your mind, shifting and changing your thoughts that are telling you you can't have that, layering in new beliefs, processing through that. And I know that can sound complicated, but it really isn't. There's two parts to this. And I've got a couple of videos on YouTube that you can check out. Um, that go over all of that. I've got lots of free content over there, so, so check it out. But the truth of the matter is you have to be consistent about what it is that you want. That means the daily mindset work. That means the daily triage work and checking in and readjusting and looking and processing what you need to process. And yes, for some, it means getting the support that you need. Because if you want to expedite your results, if you want to get there faster, Like if you want to lose weight faster, a lot of people hire a trainer to know what to do, to know how to do it, and to keep them motivated and committed. It's the same thing with with mindset coaching, except I'm not just going to do that. I'm going to give you all the tips and tools. I'm going to be that voice in your back pocket when you need a pick-me-up or you need this pep talk. I'm going to be there letting you know that you get to create what you want. I'm going to remind you of who you are. I'm going to give you the tools. I'm going to give you the exercises. I'm going to give you the intuitive you know, nuggets that you need to hear when you need to hear them. That's the beauty and power of that one-on-one work. But the truth is we all can do this. You can do this. Are you committed? Are you doing the, the, the mindset work? Are you taking the actions? Are you staying committed? Only you know that, right? But the thing I need you to know is that you get to do it. And it starts by shifting and changing what you're thinking. That's it. It's a very simple concept that it isn't always easy to implement. Simple, not always easy, but it can be, okay? So I wanna hear your thoughts. (laughs) Is this something that you needed today? If so, post a comment below. 
Um, is this something that you feel like other people need to hear? You know, share it, like it, tag someone. Um, and I'm actually thinking about, I, I'm working on the details of this, the, the um, date and time, but I think I'm going to be hosting a free, what I'm calling open coaching day. Um, it'll be probably an hour, hour and a half. I'll share a short training at the beginning, and then I'll be here to answer your questions and to really give you a live idea of what it looks like to work with a coach and and to be coached for free, right? Like you get to ask me questions and work through some beliefs and get some tools and tips that will help you. So I'll be sharing that with you um, as soon as I have all the details worked out. If that is something you're interested in, post your post a comment below this video and I will come back and message you directly and give you all the details as soon as it is up and running and the sign up link. Okay. It's totally free. Don't have to pay for anything. I'll just um, send all that information to you. Okay. I want you to remember all of this, put this on replay. If you need to listen to it again, go back and watch the replay. Remember who you are, whatever you are seeing in front of you is simply a snapshot of past thoughts, past actions, past whatever beliefs, thoughts, feelings, energy, choices. And so if you want to change what you're doing, if you want to change where you're going, you get to change in the now. You get to change your future based on now. And I can't stress this enough, how important it is to change what you think. It is critical. Mindset is everything. Mindset and energy are everything, okay? Yes, your actions are a part of that, but mindset, what you think and what you feel and what you believe influences every step that you take. It influences whether you're ready to evolve and expand. It influences the jobs you get, the relationships you're in. It influences everything. So we have to change that mindset and get you into a more empowered place so that you're creating and calling in what you ultimately want. You are not powerless. You are not stuck. You are not broken. There is nothing wrong with you. All is well. You just have to get back to who you are. You have to remember that. And if this is something that you're like, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> I need more of this. I need pep talks like this. Um, definitely post a comment below. And if you want to explore what it's like to work with me one-on-one -on -one and want to look at that, you know, let's get you signed up for a free consulta consultation to talk about that and to see if we're a good fit. If you want to do this on your own, you are more than welcome to. Everyone can do this. It is not rocket science, right? I, like I said, I have tons of content on YouTube, tons of videos, tips, you know, exercises for you to do. Binge that content. There's so much available to you. There are a lot of people that aren't going to do it unless they pay for it, unless they invest in it. So if that's you and you're interested and want to get this rocket fuel to the next level, really get the cheat codes to getting to where you want to be, then I encourage you to reach out. Let's talk. Let's get you signed up. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay. All right, friends, that's it. I didn't plan on coming live, you know, in my workout gear, but here we are. So I hope that this is helpful. I want to hear from you. What questions do you have? What message really landed for you? Post it in the comments below. Facebook is doing that magical thing where unless, you know, people are liking posting, sharing on your post, it's like I don't exist. So you would really help me out if you could uh, post a comment, share your thoughts, like it, share it, tag people, whatever. Okay. All right, friends. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and rest of the week, and I will chat with you soon. All right. Bye, guys.